I don't want to break it, but I'm going to. This could be a bad idea because it's got waste in it. Oh no, it is a bad idea. Ah! Why did I do that? Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Taker77 and we're back on my mechanical mastery world. And today you can see I've rebuilt my uh, reactor. I, it's not on right now. I don't want to turn it on unless I absolutely have to. So uh, we're going to work on today getting those polonium pellets first. So let's see about that. If you recall, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get polonium pellets because the next step requires that in the casings, these polonium pellets. And right now we have polonium inside of the solar neutron activator, okay? So let's look here. Polonium. I'm going to bookmark this right now. We need to have a pressurized reaction chamber. Okay, so I have that on me. I kind of built some of this ahead of time. I'm going to put this like maybe like right uh, here. No, I'm going to put it right here. I'm trying to see if how I have length to get for the pipe to get water. I'm going to use this water pipe here. Um, so let's see. Let's just put it right here. Okay, and we have to get water into this from the back. So I'm just going to go down and there we go and it should connect up and it has water filled in. That's good. We have to get the polonium out of here. And is this a liquid or is this a gas? I don't know. That's my question here. Uh, well, let's see if it's a liquid. I don't have a lot of this. This should work for what we're trying to do. Um, and I don't know which side is the front. That's the other question. Which side is the front? Um, So anyway, gas. So it's going to do gas. You see that right away here when I say side config? We're in items or gas. So nuclear waste is what? An item maybe? I don't know. It looks like it would be a gas. I don't know which one this will be. Let's just see what hooks up. How about that? Okay, so does this hook up to it? It does. So I mean, I wouldn't think that this would be polonium. I don't know if this is an item or a gas. Let's look here. So item config or gas. Hmm. Okay, well, let's figure this out. Uh, polonium looks like it's a liquid, right? I mean, it looks like a liquid to me, so I'm, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So this side probably is the front. So let's see if I can go around to the side here. That doesn't connect either. So let's try it if it's a gas. I don't think it's a gas, but... Okay, on this side over here, we're going to do item config. It is, there's energy, there's fluid, which would be water and gases. And this is an input from gas. And if I set this to extract, does that work? I'm a little bit confused on what this material is. So is this going into here now? It is. So it counts as a gas. So I will put an upgrade in here just because. And so this thing now should have everything it needs to run except for power and this resource right here. And that is uh, fluorite dust. Okay, so we got to get fluorite dust into it. So let's see about that. Well, how do we do that? Well, we have to get um, a crusher. So I'm going to put a crusher right on top. Okay, and into this we have to put um, the fluorite to crush it down into and get the byproduct out of that. So um, we'll put... Uh, we got to get an EMC link, don't we? We got to get a link and we'll probably put an item pipe here. Okay, so let me go get another link. Okay, so to do this, we're going to have our, our crusher here, but first we have to have an enrichment chamber on that. And we're going to have that going downward here. And then on top of that, we need to get the uh, EMC link with the fluorite ore. So we will, I'll do an item pipe for this. Um, and we're, I'll go off the side. It's really hard to work with. Um, shift clicking on this because it makes you fall down so anyway we're going to do this and we're going to say that this is emc link and it's going to produce fluorite ore and we will say extract and get it to go into here so on this side will be input okay and there we go we still have to provide energy to it and then we want the output of this to go down to the bottom okay auto eject on and that should go into here. So let's get some power for this setup here. Um, I do have a flux point. So if we put on, I mean, we can use the front for this, right? For power, it doesn't really matter. So let's uh, set this to have getting power and you can see it's already starting. And I'm gonna run uh, power from this down. Um, the reason I do it this way is because some of these devices, I mean, that, not the, these, but the thermal machines don't allow you to output to the front. So this will work. Uh, let me set this to extract. 
and do that. Okay, so this is getting fluorite automatically, and it should, hopefully it dumps to the bottom. I don't know if it will, no. So output, I'm gonna say auto eject is on to the bottom. And there we go. So now this should be making polonium pellets for us, if I'm right. And there we are, okay. And it's also getting uh, spent nuclear waste. And I'm not sure what that is. I gotta figure out how to handle that. But we got pellets already. So we have to get uh, the spent nuclear waste out of there. And we have to get the items out. So let me see here, let's go. I'm gonna put an item pipe here. Okay, and I'm gonna put a drawer and this is where we're gonna put polonium pellets. Okay, so let me go underneath here. Let's see if I can do this. This is where I talk about it's really hard to like shift click. I got it, good. And this is not producing very fast, but I will still put in an upgrade. Because, you know, why not? Um, and so this should be putting in pellets in here, right? If I say the output is to the bottom, auto eject item output. And there we are, we have our pellets, that's good. I should lock that eventually. So now let's figure out what we're doing with this stuff because I this other fluid here, spent nuclear waste. Um, I think that that probably should go into a, and I don't know if this is a liquid or what this is. Um, so I think this should probably go into a radioactive uh, barrel or something. Let me go see if uh, I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here for now and I'm gonna see if we can try to get this out. I'm assuming it is, well, I mean, I don't really know, honestly. Uh, let's say that it is because it was a gas coming in, right? Is it a gas coming out? That is my question. Um, but I'm gonna try with uh, Actually, I really need some blocks here. Uh, I got some blocks That's <laughs> not, not a great uh, solution, but it lets me like land here. So does this connect up at all? No, it doesn't but so it's probably some sort of gas right Okay, so does that work this has uh Nothing in it at the moment. So I'm going to say over here on this side, eject, there's fluids, there's gases. So and that's energy, fluids, or gases. And I'm going to say auto eject is on, and I'm going to say output to that side. And so, and oh, yeah, I got to set this up. Sorry about that. Here we go. And there it went down. Okay, so that's going into this radioactive waste uh, thing. So hopefully that will not fill up too quickly, but we're getting the materials here. We're getting polonium. We don't have any more polonium. So and we've only gotten nine pellets and I know we're going to need a lot more pellets. So this is going to have to run. Now I had it set to, it looked like it was set to two on this uh, burn rate. I said, or 10, I mean, and I set it to two. So let me activate this. And so this should be generating polonium um, and should be going, oh, don't get that block there. And it should be going into here directly. Um, and you can see it is going up, so when it gets enough, it will take the fluorite dust and make another pellet. So it's working. I gotta keep an eye on this. I have it going slow on purpose. So uh, we'll just see how that goes. But hey, we got polonium pellets, that's good. So we're gonna work on the next step while I monitor this is to see how it goes. All right, I just locked this drawer so we won't uh, lose anything here. I'm gonna grab all of these pellets. And we have nine of those. Now let's go back over here to our base. What I want to do is start to build the components that we need for this quest. And we're going to make it, I think it's uh, some sort of phase shifter that will create the antimatter. Um, if you look at the quest here, it's a super critical phase shifter. And there's some things that we need here. Um, so let's go from this side back to see what we can do. Okay, so I've already bookmarked some of this. I don't know why these are popping out here. I just keep seeing these pop out. That shouldn't be, but I'm going to throw that into here. Okay. I think it might be because I have a magnet on me. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's make the supercharged coil. Uh, you can see it takes a laser. So the laser takes a steel casing. We can do that. It takes the two of these energy tablets. So that should be good. We have a laser. And then we have the supercharged coil. We only need one of these. So that's done. Oop, let me get that out so we get the quest. Okay, that's good. Uh, so I can get rid of these on our list here. Now, the next thing I want to do, I think it said I needed three of the ports. So let's go look here. Ports, it takes three and it takes SPS casings for this. So we're gonna need 12 casings. Okay, so can we make some casings here? Oh my gosh, it takes four pellets and a plutonium pellet. I don't even know how to do that. How do you make a plutonium pellet? You take fluorite dust and plutonium. Plutonium you get from the nuclear waste. 
which you get from the reactor. Oh, okay, so I gotta have to do a whole other thing to make plutonium. Okay, so that's a whole different thing. I will get back to that. Structural glass, how many do we need for structural glass, it said. Uh, for the quest, we need 123, so basically two stacks of structural glass. And it is steel ingots, which we have in glass, so there's one stack. There's two stacks. We got that. So, uh, it looks like we're just stuck on making this, and we need a total of 60 of that, it said. And we're going to need another 12 to make three ports. That's 72 of these casings. And so that's a lot of, of black HDPE sheets, a lot of pellets, and it's going to be a lot of plutonium and, yeah. So plutonium, nuclear waste. Plutonium in an isotropic centrifuge. Okay, so let's make one of those right now, isotropic. Iso, this thing here. We need just a basic chemical tank, that's not bad. And we have that, okay. So let's go back over here and uh, see what we got. Because we're gonna have to take the nuclear waste and it's gonna have to go to both things. Because this is making the pellets using nuclear waste, right? And it's, it says it's got some in it, but it's not pulling out, is it? Okay, it says it is working. So uh, let's see about this. We're gonna have the isotropic centrifuge. Let's put that right here. And it doesn't have any energy. This is probably the front. So on this side, we're gonna say is input of a gas, right? And uh, it should make, I don't know. Let's see if we can get this. Is there a way to turn this off so it doesn't work temporarily? Um, maybe with this, let's just see. Okay, just for temporarily, I want to see if we can get this system running. So it is getting nuclear waste. So I got to figure out a way to make this so it splits it between these two. Um, but so far, this is not blowing up, right? <laughs> That's the key. Um, we are full on steam. So we're slowly generating steam. I think that's probably what happened last time. Is I got so much steam that it's, it blew up, right? So uh, how do we make it so that this like has like a safety valve. Does anybody know? Please let me know in the comments if you know any way to make a safety valve. I'm going to turn this off and let this uh, steam go out a little bit. And why isn't it turning? Oh, because it's got full energy. Oh, so nothing's happening because I can't use it because there's the energy's, uh, gotcha. Okay, so we'll let that run for a little bit. All right, so we're getting here. This, this is the uh, uh, centrifuge. We're trying to make plutonium, so... Let's look at that again. Plutonium. We're trying to make the plutonium pellet, right? And so it takes a pressurized reaction chamber with, again, water or and plutonium. So I got to get another pressure chamber. Okay, now I've got this uh, enriching chamber. Ah, it says enriching chamber. I <laughs> didn't make the next step. I can't believe I did that. I derp all the time when I play this game. I, I That's just me. So let's go back over here. I got to get the pressurization chamber. But, uh, here we go. Pressure... Right? Pressure. It takes the enrichment chamber. I just didn't do that final step. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so um, what we got to do here is it takes also, it looks like the, the fluorite. So, which right now I have going output down below. So what if I took this, because um, we are in that pressurization chamber. Let's go into this pressurization chamber. And I don't need this right here. So let's uh, get my wrench. I don't want this to go into here. Okay, so does this have items yet? No. So this I want to be for output. Um, auto eject, I also want to be output on either side. So it should be, it'll fill one of these up and then go to the other one, I would assume. I would assume it does. So we'll just see if that goes and should go into here. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to have this onto this device. Okay, so what do we have to add into here? We have to add in the radioactive waste into here and, or no, water. It's water, isn't it? Oh gosh, I get so confused. Plutonium and water and the fluorite dust. Okay, so the water is right over here. So if I take one of these, there's our water. And then on this side, we need to take this right here, which is the uh, gas, right? So, or the uh, plutonium gas, and I don't want this to hook up. No, no. And go across here to this device, or we can just hook in right here, probably. Okay. 
And so that should bring in... No, not to there. That's not what we want either. What we really want is to come from this device here. Right? Because it's got nuclear waste. I don't want to break it, but I'm going to. This could be a bad idea because it's got waste in it. Oh no, it is a bad idea. Ah! Why did I do that? And I'm probably going to die. I'm going to die. Well, I'm not I'm not dying because my armor's keeping me up, but... Uh... <laughs> How do we clean this up, guys? I wish I could just get rid of this thing. I'm not dying, so I guess I'll just keep on going. Um... <laughs> Right. Okay, don't do that. Don't do what I just did. Um, let me put this right here. And this is not to be connected. And I'm going to have this go into here. From the back. Is there a way to clean this up? I am not sure. I need to go look and, and do some research. All right, guys. So what it says online is that I just uh, need to wait this out. So I'm going to wait this out for a little bit, and we'll see how long this takes. Uh, it may take quite a while, but I, hopefully not too long. Okay, it's been about a half an hour. I've noticed that the um, the sparkles, the uh, particle effects have gone. So to me, that means that, uh, yeah, it should be like not radioactive anymore, but we are still sick. So I'm thinking that probably what I have to do is die. And when I come back, it'll be better. So, um, and I can't go run fast because it's, it keeps hitting me. So I've got 37 levels of... Uh, experience and I'd like to save that experience if I can so can we make like an XP drain that'd be kind of a nice tool to have right XP I don't see it in here I'm not sure if we have a way to get uh, XP out of us I'm not seeing anything in specifically that does this for a device so I think I think what I need to do here is I'm gonna take my gem armor let's put everything back for now okay everything's in our storage system uh, I'm going to take off the armor and probably uh, die here, so. Okay, now we're taking damage. I'll put that back in here. So, goodbye, cruel world. We must die from radiation. I am sick. Yes, I am. I'm going to die. <laughs> there we go. And, ah, uh, okay, we died. Now, I didn't probably have to take off all of my armor and, like, put it in the storage system. It looks like there was a uh, the grave there. But, uh... And see, it's still popping out those things. Don't know why that is. Um, anyway, let's grab this stuff here. Okay, and we obviously don't need that, but I'll just throw it in here. Let's get our gem armor on again. So it's there, 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 and there. Make sure we got all that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what this is about right here. So we've got 37. It's like it's not... I don't understand why it would do that. That's kind of odd. Um, anyway, we're going to go back over there and work on getting that last thing hooked up. And I think I'll get some of my other resources back in here for pipes and things and that sort of stuff. All right, I turned this back on temporarily so that I can get some more of the uh, radioactive waste. You can see it's going into here. That's fine. So we have this. This is our pressurization tube that we want to output. And I'm going to get rid of that really quick. Uh, we don't want that to hook up there. And I, Nope, nope, nope. Ugh. There we go. And I want this to go up to here. And it should bring the output on that side if we go to uh, eject. It's a gas or is I guess it's items. I don't know. But we want output on this side. That's not it. So let's go to the gases output. Okay, we need to get energy into this. That's part of what's going on here. Okay, so where are we going to get energy from? Uh, I have a lot of energy pipe. Let's see. Let me, um, this is so terrible looking, but I don't care. I just want it to run right now. Let's just have it go. <laughs> uh, up and over. <laughs> it's terrible, I know. Uh, energy, though, uh, we want energy definitely coming from the top, so. Won't let it come in from the top, really? Um, okay, well, then we'll go from the side that side so if we're going to do energy on this thing is this is item we want energy sorry and it is input uh it's all the way down there it's got to be at the bottom right okay probably that's for the reason why because it's a too tall thing okay and we'll say that and i can hear it starting that's good 
Um, pull some energy in. There we go. Okay, so now this should be making plutonium. Wow. Not a lot of plutonium. <laughs> um, and the plutonium should be going off into here. Well, I don't see that yet. And you kind of see it's filling up, right? So this side probably means that we need to have... Uh, it's a gas again. This should be input. And there we are. We got plutonium. Excellent. So, uh, this does not have any energy either. So let's grab one of these pipes. Energy. I'm not sure how much it takes for this to work. Let's see. We're trying to make the plutonium pellet. So it takes a thousand millibuckets. Okay. So, and I want the output to go on the front here. So let me uh, get rid of this. Oh, I didn't bring a pick. Okay. Let's go get a pick. And I've got to take care of that, uh, death marker too. Oh my gosh. So many things I got to do here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get a uh, pick first. Let's go fix this over here so that it gets energy from the back. I'd rather do that so that we can put the output of it on the front, and that way we have all the resources on the front side. So let's just kill this right there. And, uh... Okay, so we don't... All the sides are filled up because of that. The placement is terrible on this thing because I need this to get output, right? Um... Or do I? I can just probably grab it from there, but it would be nice to have, like, some sort of output. Oh. Why do they have to make these uh, sides have certain configs? I don't know. Let's just run this with the energy here. Okay, for now. And let it run. So we're trying to get this. This should get to 1,000 uh, millibuckets shortly. And then when it does that, then we can get, hopefully it'll process, and it'll make us the, uh, what is this called? The plutonium pellet. And with the plutonium pellet, let's look at the usage of this here. One of those, four of those, and four of those, those being polonium pellets and black sheets, gives us one SPS casing. Okay, so here it goes. You can see it's processing. Well, there we have one of those. Okay, so we have another pellet here. Okay, and is this filled up? It's filled up with steam, and this is going up with steam. So I think, is there a way to, like, empty the steam out? I'm not sure. Um, I'll turn this off really quick. I need to have this this chamber here. I'm not using the energy, so it'd be nice if it did just it just turned just a little bit because energy was used. It'd be nice if I had a way to either use up the energy or get rid of the steam. Uh, do you guys know any way to do that? Please let me know down in the comments. I'm down where we have the uh, black HDPE sheets. I have this device here. It's been working great to make this, so I'm gonna grab a couple stacks of that, and um, we have some of the pellets on us, and we have one of those. Plutonium, polonium pellets, I should say, and we have one little plutonium piece. So we should be able to make one of these. We need 72 of these, though. That's just crazy, isn't it? We have one. Oh my gosh. This is going to take, we got to get tons of these polonium pellets, and we have to get another, what, 71 of the uh, plutonium pellets. So this process here is going to take quite a while to run, and I would be nice if I could run it at a higher speed, but I think it's because of the steam that is up here. Is there a way to do like a steam vent? Um, do you know what I mean? Some sort of venting thing? There's a, there's creative tanks to create steam, but nothing like that at all. So um, I'm wondering if it's a gas, can we, I mean, I guess you could dump the energy into a trash can, the excess energy, if I put another port on here, I like having this amount of energy in here, but it's not going to create any more because of that. Well, let's just see what we can do here. I'm going to try doing something with energy really quick to see if I can just uh, have a way of maybe we can do a, like a, a, a lever to turn off the flow going to a trash can. So if we make an energy trash can, oh my gosh, is that expensive? Induction port, induction casings. Okay. Uh, do that. Let's see if we can do this. Um, Got four induction casings. An induction port takes four of those, and you get two of those. Okay, we gotta do another set of induction casings. <laughs> this is gonna be kind of crazy, but it's you know what I think we need to do, right? Um, ultimate induction providers. Holy cow! Okay, so I'm not sure how how do we dump this energy? I, I, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to do that. That's just too hard to do. Too much resources to make whatever it is to dump this out. Is there a way to 
like an interface on here that says, uh, there, dumping excess. There we go. Okay, so that works. And so if we turn this on here, um, it will. it's getting material out, right? So this should not be generating steam. This should be getting material uh, into here, but then it should start to see it start dumping out. Like, it generated some power. And you can see it's not generating it getting any more steam, right? So this is, this is working, I think. So now I had this up at like 10 before, but let's just go up to, instead of, I just want to see if I go to, I'm going to go to five here. Okay, which should be generating more steam, but it's also generating more radioactive waste, which is what we want, right? So, and this is going good. I think that might work better. So then this should just get as much as it can. You can see it's going in and immediately making it out there. And slowly we're getting, we are going up on plutonium. That's good. So that's a five. Let's go to an eight. I see it's going down pretty quick here. Let's go back to a six. And the water's still going down. Okay, so let's go to back to five. And we're going back up for coolant. So probably that's about the most we can do. But I think that this will work. We're not we're dumping the excess materials in here. We're generating stuff. So really, guys, I need to get let this thing just run. Oh, did it not look at this? Uh yeah, it's getting waste, right? But this is also generating nuclear waste, just like this did. So I have to get that output too. And there's no more pipes. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got to figure this out, how to get this one. I might have to redo this whole machine network to get different things here, because this is kind of too tight. I might have to do a separate section here. And I, you know what? I'm gonna probably do that off camera. I think I'll do that off camera. I'll put another device over here. Of course, get rid of these blocks. And uh, make it so that it looks a lot nicer. Of course, not breaking my stuff to get radiation, but, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and then I'm going to go AFK, <laughs> at this rate, probably for the weekend, um, to get enough of these pellets in here so that we can uh, get what we need. Okay, guys? So I think that's it for this video. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have to do a lot of AFK to let this work. I mean, these machines are not big. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's about too low. It's going too low. It's going too low. I saw this just as I was doing my outro. Oh, and there it's going back up. Why did it go down? Now it's going down. Okay. Well, let's put it down to a, a four. Okay. As long as it's going up and doesn't go down, I'm happy. Oh, that scared me. I saw that going down. All right, guys. Back to my outro, right? Uh, hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all notifications. Okay? Thanks, guys. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye.